Hello folks, today we're gonna to do a Christmas in July. I'm gonna do peanut brittle, attempt to do peanut brittle because I have never done it before. When I was growing up, my mom was a candy maker and a baker, so uh, she used to make candy all the time and she would let me help do the Buckeyes and she made another little candy, something like Buckeyes, but I had coconut in it dipped in chocolate, color chocolate. And um, she never would let me help with the peanut brittle, so I don't know why. So, I'm doing it on my own. She used an electric skillet, but I'm going to use a saucepan because that's how I've been watching a video and saw somebody else do it. So, first off, we are going to put one cup of sugar in the pot. Bam! Just like that. And we are going to put a quarter cup of water in the pot. Bam. Now we have a quarter cup of Cairo syrup, the white. So we're going to put that in there. Get all that yumminess out of there. Mm. And I have a half a teaspoon of salt right there. And a tablespoon of butter so we're gonna put this on the burner on a, about a medium heat I have an electric skillet or electric skillet electric stove so we're gonna put it on about a five and let that boil and then we'll put the um, raw Spanish nuts in it okay so we'll take this over there to the stove and let that get hot and start to boil and uh, we'll be back with you when we put the nuts in all right folks this has been on about five minutes and look at it starting to boil so at this point I'm going to pour in the cup and a half of Spanish peanuts and you got to keep stirring it or it'll burn you can use cashews if you want in these but we're using the Spanish peanuts we like them little hauls I don't know why but for peanut brittle that's just how we like it and you just got to continually stir it's going to turn a, a light caramel color we're going to try and get it up to about 300 degrees and see what that color is on there if it's a color that i like then um, i'll take it off but it's going to have to when you pull it up it's going to have really fine thin threads that means that it's reached the temperature that it'll be uh, be able to break it like peanut brittle takes a while for it to get up there so we just have to keep stirring it. it's kind of like fudge making candy always brings back memories of Christmas for me All right, folks, this is uh, the peanut brittle starting to get a little thick. See that and that color on it right there? We're only about 225 degrees or 230, and we got to get it to about 300 degrees. And it's only been about five minutes, so it's not taking it very long to come up at all because that syrup gets really hot. That sugar and stuff, the syrup. So um, I'm going to let this get up to 300, and then we'll be right back. All right, everybody, this is at 300 degrees right now. So we're gonna take it off the burner. See how it's brown? The color is like a caramel color, and we gotta work fast, okay? We're gonna put that vanilla in there. Let's let that sizzle. And now we're gonna put the baking soda in there, a teaspoon of baking soda. And that's going to make it like a little whiter color then it'll it'll be brown after it's after it cools got to work fast because it'll be cooling off okay that's all mixed up and i've got a buttered jelly roll or cookie sheet or whatever you want to call it 
I'm going to spread that down on there. See how that's, well, I've tried to spread it around. It ain't going to spread. You want it pretty thin. That way you can at least bite into it and it's not going to be too thick. Smells like candy. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let that sit up and uh, we'll be back with you. Hello, folks. I just wanted to come and tell you about the beautiful, as I always say, the lovely paper towel holder that Mr. Smith made. It has a little finial on top. It's gray, and it has a little blue flowers on it. And this is going to be given away to a lucky subscriber whenever they like, share, subscribe, comment the most. Okay? Right now, we are moving on up. We are at 83. And I'm like, ah! So, we don't have, only got 17 more to get to 100. So, I think maybe like every... Like the first hundred and then 250 and stuff, we're going to be giving away prizes periodically. So stick around with us. And those of you who have not subscribed, please subscribe and help us grow. Because this, this means a lot to us. We love doing it. I mean, we're not real good at doing it. We always have flops, but we're having fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching us and laughing at us too. Like we laugh at ourselves. So, remember, like, subscribe, share, and comment, and one lucky winner will get this. And we got 17 more people, so please share. And uh, the peanut brittle is sitting up. It looks like it's going to be great. Like I said, I had never made it before, but I think I did a fantastic job. But we'll see. <laughs> Mr. Smith will be the judge of that because he's the candy eater. So, we'll be right back. All right, folks, so we are back, and it's been 20 minutes, and we took it all off of the jelly roll pan and onto this cooling cookie sheet thing that I cool my cookies on. Um, it's cool. I can lift it up. We're just waiting on it to get completely cool, and uh, Mr. Smith has licked the pan a little bit out of it, and he's like, oh, that is so good. It's going to be good. So... There's that. I think that's going to be a keeper. And here is the recipe. I wrote it down and you can screenshot it if you can see it. I'll hold it here for a few minutes. If you have any questions on my recipe, just um, leave it in the comments or email me at thebikerbaker at yahoo.com. So there's that. You can screenshot that. So... We are going to get out of here and break this up and eat it, okay? So like, share, subscribe, and comment, please, and help us grow. And thanks for watching The Biker Baker Show. Peace out.